Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. The video that went live today for me, technically yesterday for y'all, um, would normally have been a weight loss Wednesday, but I just did a vlog and I kind of mentioned at the end how, um, you know, Jonathan and I have been off plan, so I just didn't really feel like filming a weight loss Wednesday. Um, but I did say that I was gonna like document the process of losing all of the birthday weight. And so we're gonna start that today because today is August 1st for y'all. <laughs> it's July 31st for me, but I figured I don't need to wait one more day to get back to plan basically. Um, so I had, um, I had a bit of a rough night last night. Um, but I have been fasting. I've been fasting for over 16 hours now. Um, my goal is always at least 16. So I got 16 hours in. Um, it is 5.05. I just got back from the grocery store picking up dinner for tonight and tomorrow night. I did get on the scale and I got my like official starting weight for the like, regain basically after the birthday. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Guys, like so much don't want to do this. Just FYI. 241.6 is what it said and 39.4 okay 241.6 like I said yesterday I'm not gonna make a bunch of excuses life happens the good news is is that I already know what I need to do and I'm already doing it so my plan is back to tracking back to intermittent fasting and back to working out you know three to five days a week basically um, so I did the like I said I fasted today and I'll make sure to close my eating window because the past couple of nights I've been staying up which there's something wrong with staying up but what happens is number one I end up um, I end up eating later than I should and number two I don't get the sleep that I need which means that I don't want to get up in the morning and go to the gym so I just need to go to bed at a good, good hour close my eating window um, track my foods that kind of stuff so I've already got um, the foundations and I just need to get back to it so that's what I'm gonna do over the weekend Jonathan and I had a pretty long like sit down talk and talked about like how much we've overcome in our weight loss journey and you know like what our goals are for long term as far as like are we going to stick to keto forever um what are we going to do whenever we get down to like our goal weight and all that kind of stuff and what we're going to do about making sure that we don't ever regain the weight because it's definitely possible and if we don't prepare for that now um during the course of this journey um if we don't have a plan in place like we could very well end up gaining back you know a, a significant amount of weight if not all the weight or even worse more than we lost which would just be devastating and we both agreed that we just have to hold each other accountable you know I let him know that um, I would probably always monitor his weight in the same um, you know I would expect the same um, you know for me currently we don't like hide our weight from each other um what we do is like you know when i get on the scale in the morning i'll just be like you know i'll might make a comment to myself and he'll be like you know what is it and i'll be like oh it's 243 or it's 235 or whatever so like he always hears my weight and then the same for me like i'll hear him get on the scale and i'll hear him like either you know make a good exclamation or a bad exclamation and i'll be like what's going on so i think that once we just need to basically continue that behavior and not ever get in a spot where we're like in denial and try to avoid the scale um, because that's how you gain weight back. So um, that's kind of what we talked about and also uh, talked about transitioning to paleo once we were at our goal weight. Uh, not before, we both agreed that we are not yet ready um, to make that transition. We still need more time to, to deal with um, like you know the mental reasons of why we ended up so like super morbidly obese so i think like one of our biggest fears is obviously gaining the weight back and i think that we're taking the steps that we need to make sure that never happens um, of course we know that once we go into maintenance mode we will gain probably you know five to ten pounds and that's okay um but we just have to keep you know keep an eye on it and never let it get 
out of control again. So that's just kind of the little bit of the weight loss update that I've been avoiding. <laughs> um, July, man, I should just really just always count July as a loss. Like, <sighs> and you know, there's no reason to be upset about it. I just need to get back on track. The good news is, is that most of that is probably water weight, maybe one to two pounds of actual like gain. My plan is definitely to be at least doing one weigh-in with y'all every week. And this is Veda, which is a vlog every day in August. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna participate in it just yet. I am thinking that I'll probably weigh in um, and keep track of it a little bit more while I'm losing this like gain that I had. So I hope July was a good month for you. If you're on a weight loss journey and you're struggling, never give up. <laughs> You're always further than you were when you started. So just know that you can like always get back to it. Um, you don't have to wait for a Monday. You don't have to wait for you know the first of the month. You can start today, you can start now, you can start making better choices immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and the notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye.